Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're already five months into 2022, but we're talking about goals. Goal setting and achieving those goals. So stay tuned. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Wink, wink, that is one of my goals. Um, and hit the like button on this video. So today we're talking about goals. That's why I have my handy dandy phone out because I keep my goals on my notepad. But before we jump into 2022 goals, I wanna go back and look at some of the goals I set in the previous years um, and kind of discuss which ones I was able to hit and why I wasn't able to hit the goals that I wasn't able to hit. So I'm gonna start with 2020. So of course I was running my marketing and public relations firm. Um, my goal was to get three new clients. I did that. Uh, my goal was to monetize my YouTube channel. I did that. Sell book copy. That was like a really bad goal because you could sell one book copy and you hit that. Like I was very specific with that goal. I mean technically I guess I hit it, but I'm not even gonna count that because I was a a bad goal that I set because it wasn't measurable. Brand awareness, again, that was just a bad goal because I put social media content, media coverage, strategic partners, yeah, I did all that, but did I really build up that brand awareness? Again, it wasn't really like a measurable goal. So I can tell back in 2020, my goal setting wasn't that good. 2021, I wanted six consistent paying clients. I did that. 2,000 email subscribers. Honestly, I haven't done email marketing in a while. I don't even remember how many email subscribers I have. I know it's more than 2,000, but I don't know when I hit that mark. Um, a team of five. I did have a team of five. I don't anymore. Three sales funnels. Y'all, can y'all tell that my goal setting was really like, uh, don't, don't ask me how I got anything done. Publish a business marketing book. I did, but it wasn't the one that I planned on publishing. And really that was in 2021. And okay, I remember what book I published last year. So the book I published last year was 31 Days to Glow Up. Uh, if you saw it previously, I did change the title of the book and I had to change the cover and a few things around. And it was more of a self-help book than a business book. It was just made for business owners. So again, that goal, I should have been a little bit more specific with that goal. Um, earn $20,000 a month. Uh, the highest month of my earning was $17,000 and some change. So I didn't hit that goal. Get verified on Instagram. As you can see, I did not hit that goal. 5,000 YouTube subscribers. Again, as you can see, I did not hit that goal. And release the Entrepreneur Circle. So if you've been following me for a while, you know I was gonna release a TV show called Entrepreneur Circle. I got up to doing everything up into filming. And that is when I went into the hospital. So that did not get released. I don't know yet if I'm still gonna release it because I have everything for it. So it makes sense that I'm still gonna do it because literally we got all the pre-production the stylist, the cast, the script, everything done. I just didn't get to filming, so I may still release that. It won't be this year because it's just not one of my main goals, but we'll, we'll revisit in, in a little bit and see how we feel about that. Um, so those are my goals up until 2021. So my goal for goal setting was to be really more specific with my goal setting, be more realistic with my goal setting, um, and then break down my big goals into smaller goals so that I could measure them um, each month and make sure that I'm on the right track to obtaining those goals. So let's jump into what my 2022 goals are for the rest of the year. My first goal is 4,000 subscribers. I was going to go with 3,000, but I'm already at like 2,600. Um, and so that would only mean I'd only need 400 more subscribers by the end of the year. And I wanted to set something a little bit more challenging for myself. So I'm going with 4,000 subscribers. So if I break that down into smaller goals, that means I have to reach 175 subscribers per month in order to hit that goal by the end of the year. Uh, I'm going to do that by engaging more with my audience on YouTube, engaging with other YouTubers on YouTube sharing my YouTube video on my social media accounts, and uploading two videos a week. This is a goal that I've set for myself for years now, and I think there was like at one point where I was uploading two videos a week, and I only lasted doing that for maybe two months. 
Um, and I, that is when I saw the most growth on my channel. That's actually when I hit like those 600 subscribers in one month. Um, and then I kind of fell off of doing that. So I definitely want to get back to doing that. I hired a videographer. She's here. Hey. Um, and she comes over and helps me to record content on a regular basis so that I can aim at hitting that goal of actually consistently uploading two YouTube videos a week. So I uploaded my first YouTube video a few days ago, the first in a long time. Um, and my upload days are hopefully going to be Monday and Thursday. I know I shouldn't say hopefully. I should already have that down packed. In fact, I take that back. I'm not going to say hopefully. I will be uploading videos Mondays and Thursdays. So you guys can expect. And, oh, that would have meant that I had to upload a video today, though, because it's Monday. Oops. Starting on Thursday. Okay. So, yeah. So that's how I hope to get my 4,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. My next goal is 10,000 views on one YouTube video. Again, a big part of that is going to be my consistency and sharing on social media. My highest watched video on YouTube has a little over 5,000 views on it, so I'm hoping to get to that 10,000 views. And then I plan on participating in Vlogmas. So I still have a few months to go before Vlogmas actually comes, but I've never participated in Vlogmas since being a YouTuber, and I've done a lot of research on it, and I watch other YouTubers who participate in Vlogmas, and they all say that, you know, it's a great thing to be a part of. It does great for not only your YouTube channel, but it helps you with editing and creating content because you literally have to put out a new piece of content every single day for the month of December. So I'm going to be doing that in hopes of achieving that goal of reaching 10,000 views on one of my YouTube videos. My next goal, $1,000 in revenue from writing on Medium, uh, $1,000 a month. So I'm hoping to hit $1,000 um, monthly starting soon. Recently, I started writing on Medium every single day and I've seen a huge jump in my revenue from that platform and I have read on there before that if you do publish content every single day you will notice a jump um, but I was like no it's not gonna happen to me or my content's not good enough but I always think that but I did notice it and I've only been doing it for a week and a half now and the month of April was the highest earning month that I've had since I've been writing on the platform for the past two years. So my goal is to write a new article every single day for that platform and then to also engage with other writers on that platform and to share my content on my social media in hopes of reaching that $1,000 in revenue from the Medium platform. Alright, two more goals. Next, my goal is to write one viral article on the Blavity platform. So you guys will know that I also write for Blavity. It is the largest platform that I write for. And so I'm hoping that I will get one article to go viral there. My articles do tend to do very well there. My editor loves me. Hey, Naaman. But I haven't gone viral just yet. I think I, you know, I get a couple hundred views on my articles, maybe a couple thousand. But I haven't gone viral just yet. So my goal is to go viral with one article on that platform. And I hope to achieve this goal or I'm going to work to achieving this goal by publishing two articles a month. These articles take more time than the Medium articles. Uh, to get written and to get published because it has to go through an entire process and editors and publications and things like that. So my goal is to write two articles a month for that platform and hopes that one of them will go viral by the end. Of and then last but not least, I know you guys are going to get tired of hearing me say this, but I plan on finishing my autobiography. I've been working on it for years. I know every single year you guys hear me talk about it. It is almost done. I keep getting stumped at the interview section. So I have to interview my mom, my sister, my brothers, my grandmother. Um, if you guys know the backstory with me and my mom, we haven't always had a great relationship. We do now. My mom is my best friend. Um, but I know that bringing up some of these things from the past isn't going to be easy for either one of us and so that's why I keep getting hung up at the part where I have to do these interviews but I know I just need to talk to her get her side because I want my autobiography to be as true and factual as possible I don't want it just coming from my point of view um, and I may not remember things the way that they happened and things like that. I want to get her side of the story as well, as well as everyone else in my family. So I do have to do those interviews. My goal is to complete them by the end of this year so that I can go ahead and finish my autobiography. I also need to do a photo shoot for my book cover. 
Uh, if you guys again have been following me, you've noticed that I've changed the book cover for my autobiography twice already. Um, but I'm just not in love with it. And besides, I showed it to my publisher and my publisher kind of gave me the thumbs down. So I really have no choice but to do it anyway. I have a choice, but I'm going to be wise and seek the advice of those who are in the position to give me advice. Otherwise, she wouldn't be an expert in her field and I wouldn't be working with her to get the book published. So uh, I'm going to do a new photo shoot for my book cover and then I want to do two major press hits for my book. I don't know where these press hits are going to be at yet. Um, but I'm hoping to get two major press hits for my book and I haven't done press in a while. Um, I haven't been interviewed. I think the last thing I did was maybe like a podcast uh, a year ago. Um, right before that is when I was on ABC in California. Um, I know I'm missing a few press hits, but I haven't done anything major in a while. So my goal is to get two major press hits for my autobiography by the end of the year. So those are my goals for 2022 and how I hope to obtain them. I would love to know what you uh, I would love to know what your guys' goals are. Tell me down below in the comments how do you hope to reach your goals. Share with me so that we can go on this journey together and at the end of the year we can look back and see which ones we hit and which ones we didn't hit. Um, and then also because I am uploading more videos now, please share with me down in the comments what you would like to see. Feel free to send it to me in a message. You guys are great about that. Um, but tell me some video ideas so that I can put out this content for you guys and hopefully hit my goals. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Click the subscribe button down below and I will see you guys back here again. Bye.